Hey, what's up studs? Ryan here or MNR Productions and today is a very exciting day because we finally get to learn what we're going to be adding to the last two years of Lego Harry Potter sets. Now there have been rumors circulating about what these sets would be and I will say for the most part I think the names have been pretty accurate but of course we finally have official images Lego has officially released them today. These sets will be available starting June 1st in basically every country that isn't America and Canada I believe and then on August 1st they'll be available in America. And before I do show you the pictures, I think this is important to say, LEGO needs to stop screwing their customers. One way or the other, someone's getting screwed here, and in this case, it's America and Canada, and it's very wrong to release something two months early in Europe, and then two months later in America. I can't imagine anybody is for that, and this is not a CV-specific thing. This is something that they did last year as well with LEGO Harry Potter and other themes. So this seems to be a trend for LEGO that we should probably rise up as a community and stop from continuing in future years because it is very not fun to see sets available elsewhere but not in your area and not in the way that they both had the same official release date but oh in Florida they show up three days earlier than they do in Georgia that kind of crap that's just normal but when Lego's going out of their way to release something two months later in America and Canada it's really dumb and it needs to be stopped anyway let's take a look at the pictures of these Lego Harry Potter 2020 sets our first set up here is the 75966 Hogwarts Room of Requirement, and I will say about these sets, the pricing is not available in US dollars. I just have the Euro price, which is usually pretty close to the US dollar price, so I will be saying the price in dollars, but it's actually in Euros, but it should be about that. Anyway, this set does cost $20, and it actually looks quite good for the $20 set. Harry Potter has had some very good $20 sets like this over the last couple years. The set includes a Laura Lovegood minifigure, Hermione Granger and of course Harry Potter and they're looking pretty spiffy again We've kind of moved up another couple years in Harry Potter now as the years go on for Lego Harry Potter's return You also get some mythical creatures in this set and we first saw these in the summer of 2019 So we're seeing more of these trans blue with sparkly creatures and I really like to see that It's a small set and it looks like it is one that can attach to the larger Hogwarts castle that they've been building up through different play sets Although it's not shown on the box or talked about in anything that I've seen so far. The second set in the wave is the 75967 Forbidden Forest Umbridge's Encounter with 253 pieces. We can expect this set to cost 30 or $40 in the United States. It's actually 30 euros, but it's in a $40 US box, so I wouldn't be surprised if this one was 40 bucks. Anyway, the set includes three minifigures being Dolores, Umbridge, Hermione Granger, and Harry Potter, and some great outfits there. And you're also getting two centaurs, which is really neat to see. The little blurb about the set says you can trick Professor Umbridge Umbridge and entering the Forbidden Forest and introduce her to drop in a few centaurs. So that is really neat. I really like the tree that they have going on there. It looks like it should have a feature where you can actually open up the tree and get to the inside of it and perhaps maybe fit a character in there if you actually take some stuff out of it. This is a very large buildable character that they put together here and I believe the last iteration of something like this was actually just one single mold. So it is kind of interesting to see Lego go for the brick built approach here. The centaurs are really neat as well. Well, that is just an amazing figure or character to see in Lego form here. That's one that can definitely be used in other themes at some point down the line, perhaps for Lego. So that'll be interesting to see. But this is probably my least favorite set out of the wave. I just, this one ain't for me, but there are some positive aspects to it and I'll still probably pick it up. I really like this next set. It's the 752684 Privet Drive. And there has been a previous rendition of this build called Escape from Privet Drive. I believe it's from the early 2000s and this is a massive improvement on that. I'm actually really considering getting that old version to go ahead and do a comparison on in the future. So let me know in the comment section below. But I really love this set. It is from the earlier years of Harry Potter. So not everything in this wave is from the movies five and six. This one I believe is from one or two. And I love that we get Harry's adopted mom and dad or whatever. Vernon and Petunia. Hopefully I'm pronounce those correctly but also Dudley is in this set which is awesome and I always remember you know watching it when I was younger uh, Dudley being this evil big bully and I really like getting this figure in the set we also get Ron Weasley Harry Potter and Dobby in the set it's really cool to see all these characters in one set you get a nice owl you get the privet drive sign of course we're getting the car which is a minor upgrade to the version that we got a couple years back so not too much has changed with that but some small changes to that car that Ron is driving but it's still 
mostly the same. Of course, you'll be able to break Harry out of the set. And the little blurb about this one says, Explore for Privet Drive, the Dursley's family home, and discover a whirlwind of excitement. So not too much there for us to read into, but there is a really nice interior to the house. A very nice seat for Vernon. Of course, all of the mail that gets shot into their house at some point during the movie. You have Harry Potter looking pretty scared with Dobby upstairs on his bed with the Harry Potter newspaper and just a very neat set with so many different little things from the movie and this is one that I will definitely be getting and hopefully maybe picking up the older version of because I think it'd be cool to have both and do a comparison of. Next up is the 75969 Hogwarts Astronomy Tower and this will be the large addition to the Hogwarts that they've kind of been building up for the last few years. You can even see the Hogwarts Great Hall and the Hogwarts Clock Tower in the background of this set which is really neat that they've kind of integrated this into that and this was kind of one of the logical next builds that they could add on to Hogwarts and seeing them add it here it looks quite beautiful. They've retained a lot of the similar roofing techniques that they've had for the previous sets and like stickers and things that kind of look similar to the previous sets so that you keep the style the same. There's 791 pieces in this set and it should cost about $100 in the United States. It's 100 euros so it should be around that same price and this set includes eight minifigs, Harry Potter, Hermione Granger, Horace Slughorn, Luna Lovegood, Neville Longbottom, Ron Weasley, Lavender Brown, and Draco Malfoy. So quite a selection of characters here. These Harry Potter sets seem to always have such great minifigures and this set again does not disappoint at all. I believe these are all exclusive outfits in this set that you're not going to be getting in any other set so that is really cool to see. Harry Potter's just killing it in the minifigure game these last few years. The interior of the Astronomy Tower has a lot going on. You have a ton of different rooms and little aspects to the set that I'm going to have to do a lot more research on before I do a review of this set when I eventually get it. I'm sure there are much more invested Harry Potter fans than myself that know exactly what each of these rooms are and what they represent and are just having a blast looking through this. I just need to do more research and rewatch the movies because it's been too long. But this set is really cool and it's got a lot of amazing aspects and of course it will go great connecting on to the other Hogwarts sets that we've gotten in recent years. I'm saving the best for last if you can't tell the next set and this isn't the last. This is the 75979 Hedwig Buildable Character. 630 pieces. Going to be about $40. 630 pieces. Going to be about $40 in the United States. You get the one Harry Potter minifigure. And then, of course, the single Hedwig figure there. That's also in a poly bag coming out this year, which is kind of neat. I don't know how much I like this set, to be honest. I really don't. I mean, it looks pretty neat. It looks like you can spin the handle and the mechanism will actually flap the wings on Hedwig. This style just doesn't seem to be my cup of tea. I kind of like what Lego's been doing with these buildable characters for different themes. Minions, Frozen, of course Star Wars has gotten a lot of these, so this is kind of interesting to see it making its way into Harry Potter. I don't know if there's any chance we'll see anything else like it for Harry Potter in the future, but this one's definitely interesting and might be cool for some people, but not really for me. And like I said, I think I saved the best for last year. It's the 75980 Attack on the Burrow. I'm definitely going to be buying the older version of this set to do a comparison on because I love the way this thing looks. I believe this is from the opening scene in the fifth movie, although it might be the sixth. And this is so, so good. It's got 1,047 pieces and should cost about $100 in the United States, although I could also see it maybe costing 90, but that is yet to be seen. The set includes eight minifigures, Ron, Ginny, Arthur, and Molly Weasley, Nymphodora Tonks, hopefully I didn't butcher that, Bellatrix Lestrange, Fenrir, Greyback, and Harry Potter. So again, just great minifigure selection in these Harry Potter sets. The building looks excellent. They've actually built the top part on a bit of a slant, which is great. I love that they were able to get that into this rendition of the set. The coloring on it is perfect. I love all the different roofing tile colors. And then the interior, again, much like the Astronomy Tower, has so many different rooms and little bits and bobs. They're going to be nods to little things that you actually see in the movie that I need to rewatch the movie to be able to catch on and do some research for. I really like that you can change out the flame color for the fireplace. That's kind of neat. And there are just so many awesome aspects to this set. And it's one that I think both myself and a lot of you guys that are Lego Harry Potter fans are going to be excited for. This one may be the most popular Harry Potter set of the wave. But then again, the $40 Hedwig, maybe it's just not for me. Maybe it catches on. A ton of other people seem to like it. But for me, Hedwig ain't it. I think my favorite set of the wave has to be the attack on the burrow. Let me know in the comments section below what your favorite set of the wave is. I can see some people liking the Astronomy 
Astronomy Tower or for Privet Drive, or maybe you really like the Room of Requirement, although I think the bigger sets are better. I think easily the weakest set of the wave, though, is the Forbidden Forest set. I just, uh, I, it's not for me. I don't know. Oh, and one more thing about these box arts. They're animated. These are not pictures of the physical Lego product, which is typically what they do. These are animated, so it's interesting to see Lego going this route. I don't know if you guys ever noticed that, but you can definitely tell when it's animated versus the physical product they've taken a picture of, and in this case, they have animated the Lego bricks or minifigures for the set for the art. Anyway, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.